The otoscope and the ophthalmoscope are easily recognised pieces of kit that most clinicians use on a regular basis. They're tried and trusted and they work and you can need them for various parts. For example, looking at ears, looking at eyes and various other orifices. Well, what if you had a piece of kit that does the job of both of them and is a lot cheaper and has even more functions? We're going to find out in this episode. We're talking about what's inside this case, the arc light. So let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. Hey GP learners, I'm Dr. Gandalf and in this episode we're talking about otoscopes, ophthalmoscopes, you know that diagnostic set that you use on a regular basis and how you can find one that is hands down in my view the best value around, most feature packed for the cost and to be honest it's really fun to use as well. I'm talking about the arc light. Yeah, now I know this doesn't look like an ophthalmoscope and it doesn't look like an otoscope but this does the job of both of those pieces of kit and it's amazing value. But why do you need one of these? This is my Welsh Allen MacroView otoscope that I use in combination with this ophthalmoscope head and I've been using this for many years. In fact, I've had this since I qualified in my VTS. It's battery charged using pretty hefty batteries and I know you can get the rechargeable ones, but I've never been a big fan of those. But you know what? It's awesome. It does the job. It gives me a great view. And to be honest, it's not really let me down. I have had to change the LED light bulb inside once, which cost me about 40 quid to replace. But apart from that, it's been awesome. However, I must admit, I don't take this out on visits. For that job, I've been using a much cheaper piece of equipment, the YNR otoscope and ophthalmoscope head. Now, I know we don't tend to use these as much on visits. The otoscope I do actually use quite a lot, but it's been handy to have a cheaper piece of kit, particularly because I don't really want to bash them around and lose them and all that kind of stuff when I'm going out on visits. And this works with AA batteries, which is a nice handy little thing. As you can tell, this is a much more basic version compared to my macro view otoscope, particularly since it's got no magnification. The ophthalmoscope head doesn't have any blue light on it. But you know what? It does the job. And for 15 quid, to be honest, can't really fault it, can you? There is a massive range when it comes to otoscope and ophthalmoscope kits, often called diagnostic kits. And as you've seen, they can range from cheap and cheerful, like the YNR, which goes for about 15 pounds, up to things like the Reisters, which are probably one of the cheaper main brand versions that go for about £100, to my Welsh Allen Macro View, which goes for about £250. I can even go for the Panoptic kits, which go for about £600-odd. And clearly you get different quality and features depending on the price that you pay. However, for me, this piece of equipment called the Arclight blows them out of the water, or even blows the eardrums off all of them, both in terms of function and cost-effectiveness. You can think of it as a social experiment created with the University of St Andrews up in Scotland, which is where you would need to purchase it from. And I believe this is the Mark IV arc light. So it's clearly something they've been developing and using for a while. Why is it so good? Well, firstly, let's take the size. As you can see, it's tiny, it's light, it's easily portable. It is a combination otoscope and ophthalmoscope that is solar powered that can be charged through USB-C, and I've got to admit, it charges rapidly. As you can see, it's got various other features like a belt clip or a loop to attach onto various pieces of equipment. It's got a fundi sizing guide here, and on the flip side, it's got various measurement tools, such as a ruler and a pupil gauge as well. In addition, it's got a focus point like this little bird, and this red light disc, which I know you can use in various ways. I've still not quite figured out how to use that particular thing effectively though. On the side, it's also got a color strip, and a white dot on the other side for checking for blind spots in patients. But the key parts of this is the ophthalmoscope head and the loop which doubles up as an otoscope. The main controls are via this little button here, which when you press it, puts on different types of lighting. So just to show you, so if you press it once, you get both lights. If you press it twice, you get blue light. If you press it three times, you focus on one light and press it for the fourth time, it flashes between the two if you need it to. Press it again to switch it off. All the lights have an automatic cutoff after about a minute or so, which is more than enough time to examine most patients when you're doing any of these types of examinations. And if not, you can always click it back on again. And off a single charge, this device has lasted me at least three, four weeks, depending on the amount of use that you have with it. And if it does happen to run out of charge, you can just simply recharge it in sunlight. Alternately, stick it in a USB port and you will get enough power within just a couple of minutes of charge to at least last for one patient examination. That's a particular test I've actually done with a patient as well when it wasn't charged at the time. So you're probably wondering how you can use it as an otoscope. 
Included in the pack, you also get an otoscopic head. In fact, you get two, one for adults and one for kids, that look like this. And they simply fit on to the front. And there you go. One otoscope ready to go. The loop window is a set magnification, but I must admit the images are really nice and clear. And if you want to use it as an ophthalmoscope, flip it over. As you can see here, it has got magnification points that you can use when you're trying to focus at the back of a patient's fundi. They are set graded amounts, so it's not as fine as obviously a normal ophthalmoscope head and definitely not as fine in terms of magnification as my um, Welsh Allen or even the YNR version I've got. But it's enough to get a reasonable quality of look at the back of the patient's eyes. It does have highlights and low light settings as well to try and have a look at the fundi easily, depending on your lighting situation. I mentioned this is feature packed. In addition to what you've already seen in the pack, including instructions, a Snellen chart, USB charging cable, pediatric otoscope head, this funky little monster thing, which is, to be honest, a great little stress reliever, and awesomely, smartphone attachment so that you can use this to take images with your smartphone. I must admit, doing this with the ophthalmoscope part, I found really tricky, but doing it with the otoscope works not too badly. And actually, this is the type of image you can see right here. As I've said, the Arclight is an awesome piece of kit. It's portable, it's easy to use, it's feature packed, and this is only 50 pounds. Does have a couple of things I would love that they could address. And these are really niggly little things. Now there are a couple of limitations I would like to mention, and this is for the absolute purist in terms of the device that you're looking for. In terms of the ophthalmoscope head, there's no green light for looking for diabetic retinopathy. And as I mentioned earlier, there are a few limitations in the amount that you can focus using the ophthalmoscope head. With the otoscope part, there's no gap to try and use for removing foreign objects, which obviously some of the other devices can provide. And because it used proprietary otoscope heads, Unfortunately, if you were to lose these, you will have to buy the replacements from St. Andrews University, which go for about £7.50 for 20 mixed kind of heads. I must admit, in practice, I just stick one of the Welsh Allen ones on top because they're much cheaper to replace. And hopefully I'm not going to lose these because unfortunately the position of the light means that you do need one of the proprietary ones in order to use this effectively as an otoscope. If they were somehow managed to put a SAS probe onto this, this would probably be one of the most amazing pieces of equipment any doctor would ever need. And absolutely for me, this is a home visiting marvel. Although to be honest, I've been using this in my clinic for the past few weeks and it's functioned just as good as my MacroView otoscope. And I've not really noticed any difference when I've used it as an ophthalmoscope either. If you do want to check out the Arclight, have a look at the links down below or in the description and I'll take you to the website where you can grab one. I have paid for this device myself. They've not sent it to me. It's not affiliated or anything. I just think it's a really awesome piece of kit. And I will even go so far to say that this can replace pretty much the otoscope and ophthalmoscope that you use both in your visiting kits and in your clinics. Why wouldn't you want to use this? If you want to check out more equipment reviews, have a look at the video up here. If not, YouTube's probably recommending something right here. And we'll catch you in the next time as we tech enhance your primary care and learning.